All starts 7.30 Eastern. It's Saturday on Fox. Packers, Niners, NFC Divisional Round. Awesome. Feels right, man. Kanye Great. Clary, Penn State, Wisconsin. Mm. Great pass for three. He added 27 to his own Nittany Lions. Take down the Badgers. Uh, weird Thunder Clippers. Wallace with the steal. And, Brew, tell me if you're uh, counting this as a Ooh. gather. Let's see. You count that oh, as a whoa. gather? Oh, that, that looked like a trial. <laughs> I mean, you get away with a lot in the NBA, but yeah. my goodness. Whoa. They didn't call, that's a tra- that's they didn't call that? No, that's a gather. <laughs> Every, really? It's a gather. <laughs> when in doubt, it's a gather. If, you, if you're saying it's a travel, you're this? old. Oh, oh, that's a dunk. God. It wasn't like you threw down something yeah, spectacular. It was like a gather. Come Wonderful. On, Philly up five uh, and beat Ooh. a joker out. His eyes There were several up. daggers in the game, but then all of a sudden it was like four points and 20 seconds left. 41 for Embiid. Wit, Philly wins it. Wits here. You want to tell him what you were arguing for during the meeting? I'm sorry, Wit. I know these football games are doing 40 million. <laughs> he wanted us but to I do a whole want... topic on this game. <laughs> <laughs> these guys had 30 points in 18 straight games, and he beats the defending champ. Your defense wilds. It was a great game. It was a great game. His Clippers. eyes light up when he sees you. Up in the fourth. Oh, Paul George. That's oh. a Kobe-esque dunk. He didn't quite that have That is the Kobe dunk. Yeah. The young Kobe wearing number eight. Yep. Two Great. Kobe. That's full yep. wild. Yeah. Uh, 38. It didn't look as good as Kobe. Kobe's. No, of course. No. But, Kobe was behind the back. Yeah. Pops yeah. can't wait to get off the basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Battle of two number one picks when the Lions host the Bucks. Goff went to the Super Bowl and then was sent to Detroit as a partial salary dump. Uh, Bake Show on his fourth team and now thriving. The official question, it's kind of a head heart question. <laughs> I'll just toss it out. To, I'll start with you because yeah, it's, it's obvious what the answer is. Well, who has the better story? But I also want to say, who are you rooting for, even though we hold the pom-poms for no one? There's not, I'm not Whoa. answering who I'm rooting <laughs> to. I'm, I do analysis Jeez. and I give my picks. Well, you just can, like you root for somebody. somebody. No, I just like for my nice picks story. to be right. And once I do the analysis, I make my pick, then I root for myself. That's how it works. <laughs> um, listen, the answer is Baker Mayfield. If you have two kids and one, you know, lost his job, and the other went to prison, and then they're both like 10 years later doing about the same. Who had the better redemption story? It's like one guy went through a little adversity. The other one we were real worried about. Baker was playing to stay in the league as a starter this year. Jared Goff has never been benched. It was like, ah, we can do better. You can go start for someone else. Goff got a $100 million plus contract. Golf has, so, it's, and Golf had reached greater heights and had fallen. Baker, and Baker's also a sadder story. Baker didn't, this didn't happen to Baker because of poor play. It happened because he fought through injury. And the team oh, threw him away. The guy heroically oh, fought only through player injury. Ever to fight well, injury he, listen, some guys, Baker, Trevor, some guys don't play well when hurt. Jimmy, Just Jimmy, happens. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. So the answer, Coach, the answer is Baker. Yeah, I think your example is a little extreme. Well, well, I mean, Baker Baker got 50, going to the Panthers. Baker kind of made NFL 55, 55 uh, million dollars career earnings. That's not like going to prison. <laughs> but in fairness, <laughs> Golf has one hundred sixty one million dollars in career earnings. Yeah. He's making thirty million dollars this year. Yeah. Baker's at fifty five million. He's making four million with incentives. He's gotten up to okay, six million. Spreadsheets. This is well, well, because he said you said heart and head. Okay. And then when you look at golf, he, he's gone to three Pro Bowls. He's gone to the Super Bowl. They embraced him in Detroit right away. They, even in the locker room this past weekend, they talked about you know they they they, they were cheering for him in the, in the stands, like making it very clear how much they loved him. Where Baker's on his fourth team, he's had to fight for love in Tampa Bay. No, and, no you know, I'm thankful he's not doing those commercials anymore, and I'm oh, really yeah. thankful. They, those were good commercials. I, I'm I really <laughs> thankful <laughs> that, that he's had a second right. act. I think stay off I, I'm, I'm going I'm to change the question for you, bro. I, I do have a quick answer for this one. Just quickly, quick. just say it. Because just golf, that, golf that, that, for golf to be the redemption story, he has to win the Super Bowl. Would you guys agree? Like, he could trump Baker if he wins the Super Bowl. Because that's, that's why the Rams, I don't think he's going to. That's why the Rams got rid of him. It's not a quick they answer. wanted to win the Super Bowl. Go ahead. And Baker, no, look, no, 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 a few months answer, ago, oh. Baker was, ba- he barely beat out Kyle oh, Trask. No, now no. he's <laughs> one of Here's the question Here's I want to ask. We only have 20 seconds left. All right. Is a little part of you, a small part of you, rooting for Baker? No. Yes. No. <laughs> Detroit. I, I wore Detroit jersey gonna win. yesterday. I, I'm, I am with down with the Bake Show now. Oh, but I, just, okay. I just think they're going. You're lose. even down with the nickname. Yeah, yeah. you down for, even now. Yeah. for now. For now. Okay, okay. for now. All right, coming up next. He's probably the worst player. With literally oh one of the best God. segments we've I'm ever just, done on this show. 
it's can't lose. I <laughs> think <laughs> Jordan loves. Take a listen. They have a lot of the same guys from the past really good teams they've had, and um, a quarterback who does exactly what he's coached to do, which Aaron Rodgers is a Hall of Famer and unbelievable, but he kind of went outside of the realm of, of coaching, and and uh, sometimes it's it's good when you have a guy who, who does what he's coached to do. Okay. I, I think I think that was a compliment. I was not 100% feel, sure. It didn't feel like a compliment. But it kind of You don't think did. it was a compliment? We can't well, figure I, it I out. I thought it was. But really? Go. Yeah. Uh, is Love exceeding expectations in his replacement duty for Rodgers? Yeah, I, I absolutely think he's exceeding expectations. He's exceeding my expectations. And when he redid his contract going into this year instead of waiting for the fifth-year option and he took less money and the club got him for, for less money and they said it was a great deal, to me it looked like he wasn't very confident in his mm. ability. And that, and that concerned me. And then he comes out and he, and he plays as well as he has. And let's compare him. I want to show you these numbers, him versus Rogers' first year as a starter. So this is, this is apples to apples. And he's better in every single category across the board. All right, now when you when you watch him play, to say he's not doing anything outside of the system, that's not fair either. Especially lately, and I want to show you a tape that this is great that I see shows this really clearly. So this is a great this is a great play and a great design by Green Bay. They're in empty, so typically in an empty formation, you assume all five wide receivers are going to go out, and you're going to just block with the five offensive linemen. So Dallas has an automatic blitz against this. They're going to bring both inside linebackers. So they're going to bring six against Green Bay's five, which means the ball should have to come out hot. But the way that Green Bay's designed this, they've got the tight end close to the formation. They've got the running back close to the formation. Now, in this blitz for Dallas, everybody's in man-to-man defense. Okay, so it's man-to-man, and there's no help because, again, you're assuming the ball's coming out hot. When this happens... That means the entire middle of the field is wide open, that you're, you're not going to get any help, and you've got to take away the inside. Green Bay motion Wicks down, and now Wicks is going to run and, and be covered by Stephon Gilmore. He's going to push up vertically, then he's going to stem out at Gilmore, Wicks, who's a rookie against the veteran, widen Gilmore and come inside to where that space is. Gilmore's thinking, that's fine. This, this route shouldn't be able to develop the way that that it's developed and threaten that middle of the field because we'll bring max pressure. Green Bay blocks the tight end. They block the running back. Now they've got seven guys blocking Dallas's six, and the offensive line is going to slide to those two linebackers. Jordan Love comes back. The linebacker reads around, jumps, is in his face. Jordan sees the break. You can see downfield. The break is just happening now by Wicks, and he delivers this ball on a, on a line away from Gilmore for the touchdown. So to me, it's, a, it's great in terms of recognizing the, that you're going to get max pressure, knowing you've got it picked up, being willing to